So today I'm going to introduce two cases that used our chi needle method. Let's look at our slides. So I'd like to share a short video with you. So the case introduction is um, the person has a very severe pain between the shoulder, right shoulder and the spine uh, for over three months. And the past week, it actually deteriorated. Even with other people's acupuncture sessions, still there's no obvious uh, improvement. So it was recommended to me for further uh, treatment. And the method used, it's uh, the qi uh, guidance and the qi healing, uh, and also the uh, daoying, the leading guide, and the gentle knocking and tabbing, and also non-contact uh, qi palm uh, with uh, qi healing, uh, and also the qi healing with the uh, spiraling um, movements, and also the sword finger uh, qi projection, uh, and also palm to palm pouring and compacting the qi into the body. And last, I used the uh, sword finger and did spiraling uh, qi uh, guidance uh, locally and Hawaii. So it used um, mostly um, qi needle and qi heating uh, methods. So thanks for going through the uh, most of the methods used in the qi healing. Uh, while we're waiting, I'm just uh, translating from the slides. The needle I'm use, using here is very different from the traditional, very fine needle in acupuncture. It's called a floating needle, actually has a very good indication for pain treatment. So even with those very stubborn cases of pain, without using the traditional needle, this device actually, uh, the fujian we call it, or floating needles, uh, they are quite effective in dealing with stubborn pains. And once you build up some attainment of uh, using the qi to guide the movement in the body, and in combination with this uh, Fujian device, uh, you would be like a tiger now with wings. So the whole protocol used that eight steps uh, on the slide, and the video will demonstrate it. Mm. And the first method actually has contact. So you use your finger going along the uh, gallbladder <coughs> meridian. And not only you are sensing the qi uh, blockages, but also your guiding qi to move uh, forward. And then I will be tapping on specific points along the, uh, uh, gall along the bladder meridian. And the gentle touching and the smoothing out plus the uh, tabbing, gentle tabbing, are very similar to those uh, used in massage, the Chinese Twina massage. Mm. And the only difference is, is when I'm doing it, all my focus and my awareness are focused and concentrated on projecting qi out to the person while I'm doing it, using your own primordial qi, your own refined uh, original qi. And the other six steps actually uses non-contact at all. The most common ones is step three. You use your whole palm, flat palm, to smooth and guide and lead the qi in the body. Number four is actually circulating the palm around an area. And when you circulate the palm, the qi is moving in circulation as well. Mm. And also, when you're doing it, you want to connect the qi out of your laogong point with the person's qi field. Once you have the connection, you're going to make a circular or spiraling movement. And that qi movement, we will propel the qi towards the area, the affected area, and making the uh, deep seeping into the tissues, make the qi. Mm. And the next one is you project you from your own dantian, your own primordial qi out of the sword finger. And now you are putting it or projecting it towards the area of treatment. Sword finger to guide the qi, you can do it along the meridian system. 
So when you use the salt finger, you can go along straight line. You can also circular movement, use the circular movement. Because the Chinese medicine uh, recognize the pain as blockages in qi and the blood. So all these methods are aimed at making the qi flow again. Once it's flowing without any obstruction, the pain should subside. And the Chinese medicine has another um, saying or almost maxim. They said the uh, qi actually is the power behind the blood movement, blood circulation, while blood is the mother that generates and nurtures the qi. So the two has a very close relationship. Okay. And since the pain already lasts uh, three months, so the blockages in the qi and the blood circulation now also caused the uh, weakening of the qi and blood in this area. So the next step, actually, I'm going to transfuse or give some qi to the person. So next one, the Chinese word calling the qi transfusion actually say pouring in the qi. The qi for the person. 最后. So even if you may not use this technique to treat others, but you can still use the eight steps to help yourself with any kind of a pain. 嗯，那呃，这个这个病人呢，呃，完了以后，我跟他检查了。So after one treatment, I did examination, and the pain actually mostly disappeared. Uh, the person actually can communicate in Chinese. When I asked, the uh, very stiff and tight area now is very soft and supple. And when I asked, they said the pain greatly relieved. And I also want to uh, tell you that actually he himself is an ac acupuncturist or Chinese medicine doctor rather. And this kind of uh, case sharing is really intended for you to understand the process in detail so you can further raise your own understanding and skills in using the qi needle method. Mm. And the seemingly amazing and even magical effect actually is no mystery at all through your own daily practice and also use that technique again and again uh, you will be able to do it just as amazingly when your own internal chi is plentiful and that further enhance the effects of your treatment Many prominent Chinese medicine doctors from ancient times on they actually really um, pay a lot of attention to the qi healing method. And some of them are great qigong masters themselves. And the uh, few, 10 people listed here are in the uh, last 100 years, the most prominent Chinese medicine doctors. We call them national masters or national treasure level masters. And also they are very, uh, High attain, attain with very high attainment in qigong healing as well. I just want to give you one example. Mr. Chen Dan An, he's the uh, he was the first principal of Nanjing University of Chinese Medicine. Uh, actually, he himself is a very famous acupuncturist. Hmm. He actually very much emphasized the Qigong practice and its role in Chinese medicine study. So in our university, we all have Qigong classes with specific theory and practice integrated. And he himself actually will participate. He actually said, when the needle arrives at the surface of the patient, the minds must follow and then the Qi would follow. So then you can make the disease uh, dissipate. Mm. And he actually emphasized there are three main factors that can really enhance the acupuncture's effects. Number one is the person himself need to resonate with the person that he is seeing and treating to make that connection. The second is when you are treating, you have to be really totally focused and concentrated your mind, body, and soul. Then third, actually, is the stimulation of the needle itself. A lot of our uh, current um, Chinese medicine doctors 
did not receive great outcomes as the ancient ones or the prominent ones is because they reversed the relationship of the three factors. They so much focus only on the mechanical manipulation of the needle and disregarded or totally ignored the mental concentration part and the connection and resonation with the other person. And that kind of resonance, actually, it is a bio uh, electrical uh, presentation and relationship between the people. And through practice, that bioelectrical magnetic field would be greatly enhanced. And then the chi, the subtle energy, can be guided and directed towards your hand. That strong bioelectric current, when you pick up a needle, which is a conduit, that would make that bioelectricity and biomagnetic field of energy going through the needle to the person. That's why we emphasize to increase the uh, benefits and uh, effects of your needle, you really have to practice Qigong. I want to use another few minutes just to introduce the second case. In the winter of 2019, uh, Marathon Renner came to my office and the both interior sides of his knee hurt so much due to very intensive training. Um, he was about to, to get on the plane next day to go to New York for a competition. And he said, I want to participate. Could you use your uh, chi needle to make the pain go away? And I did the treatment on him and never thought about it again. But 10 days later, he called and said, thank you so much. And because of that treatment, I feel no pain at all. and was able to finish the whole race. Uh -oh. And this is a segment of the treatment. I'm hoping through the two case stories that will greatly increase not just your interest, but also your faith and your confidence in the Qi Needle method. Alright, next let's go to the fourth movement of the one finger Zen. Okay, it's called complaining about there's no rain in the sky for pulling it down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 